We're now moving on to our next uh, presenter, and this is Azar Shirazi, who is from Birmingham. She's now in the Energy Materials Group, and she has prepared a battery quiz for us. So, Azar, how are you today? Good, thank you very much. I'm okay, and you? Very good as well, thank you. So, so I'm going to start, start your quiz. quiz. Yes, please. Thank you. Okay, battery. Hello, everyone. Uh, I'm a scientist. I'm working on battery manufacturing. So I was thinking that today, probably the, after lunch, in a rainy day, so probably it's better to play a battery quiz. So let's play. Bring a pen and paper and we can write the points. The first question, please. We have a battery. It has two something, what they are called. Are they called poles, ends, terminals, or stops? What do you think? Which one is the correct answer? Next one. Okay, a battery have two ends. The first one is a positive one, a plus one. The other one, is it another plus? Probably minus. Is it called earth? Or simply it is called electrical? Which one? Next. Here uh, we have a battery. But uh, how a battery makes the electricity? What is the reaction inside the battery? Is it an electrochemical reactions? Is it because of electron change? Are there some chemical change? Or there is some polar switch? What do you think? Well, here I have my toothbrush. And uh, uh, I need to put some battery in it. But what does it mean? I'm connecting it to what? A load? A bundle? A pack? Or a charge? Which one? Here. Here we have an uh, electrical circuit. It's very simple. It just consists of one battery, one small bulb, and uh, where, where is the battery? Where is the energy? Where is the energy comes from? How the bulb lights up? It's because so there is something in the bulb, there is something in the air. Because of the battery, or just because of the wires? What, why the bulb light up? Anyway, we have uh, the same electrical circuit. The bulb is light up. So if I, if I remove just one of the wires, what happens to the bulb? Doesn't, it doesn't change, the bulb stays on, or the bulb melts, or no, probably but the bulb blows up, or no, nothing, the bulb does not light up. What we should, what happens? I am sure that you might have some remote control car or another toy in you, with you. Uh, usually they are powered with a battery. So what do you think, what happens if the battery is flat? The car will go faster. 
or the car will go slower or the car will not go at all or the car will spin. What do you think? What happens if the battery is flat? Okay, this is my mobile phone. The battery has run out. What should I do? One thing that I can do is to give this mobile to my friend and get their mobile. Or just throw this away and buy another phone or to recharge the battery. What do you suggest? What should I do? This is Lucy. Lucy wants to watch a show on the TV and uh, she tries, she push, she pressed the button on the remote control to turn on the TV, but nothing happens. What is most probably wrong? Probably the TV show has finished or the batteries in the remote control need replacing or she has the wrong channel or it's not simply it's not her day she has the wrong day well a lead acid battery usually you see it in cars not the new cars but a little old car and it provides what kind of electricity? What we call this kind of electricity that is produced by a lead acid battery? Is it called static electricity? Is it called virtual electricity? Direct current electricity or alternating current electricity? Have you ever thought who invented the battery? Was it Marie Curie? Was it Alessandro Volta? Was it uh, Laura Bassi? Or was it Thomas Edison? Who invented the battery? Well, we need a battery consists of some insulators and some conductors. What is a battery? What is what? What is an insulator? In these in these options, which one of them is an insulator? A steel paper clip is it an insulator? A copper coin is it an insulator? A rubber sole or an aluminum wire? Which one is an insulator? And well, we have insulator in a battery. We have conductors. So which one of these materials are electrical conductor. It means that it can pass the electricity. Is it copper? Is it aluminum? Is it steel? Or is it glass? Which one can pass electricity? Okay, I just give you a few seconds and let's find out how you did. Okay, so we've got the answers coming up now, so we'll go through those. Yes, let's sum up the points. Well, the positive and negative sides of a battery are called terminals.
second one is a minus one. In a battery, we have a plus end and a minus end. The reaction that uh, produce electricity in a battery is called electrochemical reaction. And uh, when we put a battery in, for example, my toothbrush, we, I am connecting it to a load. Well, here, the blue thing here in the middle of the circuit is the battery. And the energy comes from the battery. The energy comes from the battery, it passes through the wires, and it, the ball lights up. When the energy is produced in the battery, it passes through the wires, and the light and the bulb lights up. So if I remove one of the wires, the energy, the electricity cannot pass from the battery, so the bulb does not light up. Well, if, if the battery is flat for your remote control car, so there is, um, there is no, no electricity, no energy, so the car will not go. If my phone, if the, butter, if the battery run out, so I need to recharge the battery of my phone. That's the reason that I connect it to a wire and then plug it. Well, uh, Lucy has not, was not, uh, has not the wrong day, has not the wrong channel. And uh, the problem is that the batteries in the remote control need replacing. You need to replace the battery in the remote control. A lead acid battery provides uh, DC, direct current electricity. The alternating current electricity is the electricity that you have at home. When you plug your, for example, your electric kettle to the uh, uh, when you plug your electric kettle, you are using alternating current. But an lead acid battery, it, pro it provides direct current electricity. And who invented the battery? It was Alessandro Volta. It was not Edison. It was not Laura Bassi. And it was not Marie Curie. Marie Curie was for the... Uh, Marie Curie discovered radioactivity. Thomas Edison discovered, well, invented the light bulb. And Laura Bassi was a physicist, was an Italian physicist. So Alessandro Volta was the one who invented the battery. Insulator. Insulator is a material that does not pass the electricity. So a steel paper clip, it can pass the electricity. Copper coin, yes, it can pass electricity. Aluminium wire, it can pass electricity. The only thing is rubber sole. It is an insulator. And conductor. Conductor copper can pass electricity. Aluminium can pass electricity. Steel can pass electricity. The only thing that is not an electrical conductor is glass here. Okay, how many points do you have? Yeah, yep. if you want, want to, to post, post the points, the points into, into um, the question and answer, we can see how well you've done. I think if you've got over 10 of them right, you've done very well. Is that right, Azar? Yeah, yes, it is. It is well done, yes. Fantastic. Azar, thank, thank you very much, much and, and also, also for sharing with us some of the terms of battery science and joining us today on Saturday and we'll see you again soon. Thank you. Thank you very much. Have a nice day.